All right, let's welcome in Miami Dolphins Pro Bowl quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. Tua, you guys beat the Commanders yesterday, 45 to 15. You're in first place in the AFC East, best record in the AFC. You're tied. How are you guys feeling right now? We feel good. Um, we're blessed to be at the spot we're in right now. Um, as you guys know, just a lot of hard work went into to, uh, you know, getting us the opportunity to be where we're at right now. So, you know, we're, we're enjoying this ride right now and uh, in hopes of, uh, you know, ho hopefully we can keep that. Hopefully we can keep that. No doubt. Tua, you had a big game yesterday, you know, throwing to that guy, number 10. Have you ever overthrown Tyreek Hill? Is it possible? I've, to, to this day, I've never overthrown Tyreek. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. I don't, I don't have the, the Patrick Mahomes arm, um, you know, to, to yeah, be able to hit, do something like right that. You're hitting him right in stride. Um, you're hitting him right in stride every time. <laughs> Yeah, I think as I hit him in stride, it's probably it's probably me throwing it as far as I can at that point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's fun having having someone like Tyreek to throw to, um, and and really really he he allows the the other guys on our team to get open, and uh, you know th those guys sort of play off each other within our offense. And two, two of the Jaguars yeah. are playing. Little well, third down right here. E. Let's see what uh, two. What do you think here, Bengals? Looks like they're not blitzing here. A quarter. Oh, oh. oh. Dropped it. A little option route, Pate. A little jerk route. Yeah. That's a good word for after you drop it. <laughs> Tua, <laughs> Tua, are you mad right here on a fourth and four when you're coming off and you just missed that third and four? What's that feeling like knowing that McDaniel's sitting in the punt team for a quarterback? Yeah, I... I, I think for any quarterback, <clears throat> you, you want to end, end, end it with points, uh, regardless of what those points look like within the series. Um, but, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It, it's part of the game. Yeah. Um, you never win the game in first or second quarter, so you just got to continue to play, and uh, hopefully you can, you can get something going on the next drive and, uh, you know, put some points on the board. No doubt about it. Go ahead, E. Talk a little bit about Bengals and uh, some of these disguises. Yeah, I, I know, too. We got, you know, Joe Burrow has a great quote on Jamar Chase. He says, quote, F it, Jamar's down there somewhere. You know, I'm going to throw it. So you kind of have that same with Tyreek as a deep threat. You can always depend on it. Has Tyreek ever, like, come to you in the huddle and to say some version of, hey, just throw it deep and I'll go get it? Tyreek has said that many times. He said that many times. He's always open. Um, He's always and open. There's been many, <laughs> and that's the thing. Um, he he's been open on many of the times where he's came and told me, "Hey, throw it as far as you can. I'm I'm gonna go find it." <laughs> um, and really, that that's you know that that's how you know a lot of a lot of the touchdowns that he's had um, sort of went. And you you kind of get a feel of the game with where Tyreek is and how he's feeling. Um, you know, what time it is for, for him. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's what, that's what, uh, playing with that guy feels like. To what we were talking earlier about Trevor Lawrence changes his protections a lot. It's kind of what Joe Burrow did. They're not doing it as much with Jake Browning, but just talk about when you got into the NFL, uh, were you dialed in on that part of the game or was it kind of a process for you to kind of learn how to change protections to make it a strength? Yeah, protections for me, it, it was a work in progress. Um, as I started out at Alabama, um, Alabama, we really didn't need to, um, you know, mic or re-ID. Um, and then as I came into the NFL, uh, when I, you know, it, it was it was right to, to making mic points um, in Chan Gailey's offense my rookie year. And everything was, I, I would say, old school. Um, you had to yeah. ID everything in, in every aspect of the run game and then in the pass game as well. And so it, it was definitely a process for me. Yeah. You saw, uh, you saw Jake Browning right there trying to kind of fake 
fake new mic it right there, Eli. They didn't have a play. They were trying to get them to jump off sides before the before the quarter. So I like the effort there. Tua, stay with us. I want to hear some tunes when we come yeah. back. Stairway to heaven. Let's go. All right, big third down here, Tua. We're talking about some of Jacksonville's disguises. Anything you try to do without giving away your secrets that kind of helped you kind of, you know, have a pre-snap read and a post-snap read so you didn't get confused? Yeah, I, I would say the the easiest and obvious one would be cadence, to use cadence. Yep. But then I think we could also use that to our advantage by just getting up, aligning, motioning, and snapping the ball, having yep. the defense, like, allowing them to have it, to get set and, uh, you know, having to play defense as well. So I would say with, with both of those, um, you know, you could, it could really – help you yeah i love that the i love conversion. using the double cadence right double cadence right to try to uh, see what they're going to do and then just snapping it quick and so don't, don't give the defense a chance to get comfortable right let's offense let's dictate to the defense a good way to dictate to them is just by throwing it to jamar chase every single time eli go ahead yeah, e. yeah i think right there obviously he's the number one read nice little throw to a you know some big news yesterday for alabama them making it into the college football playoffs and, you know, here on this show, we're always trying to have breaking news. So do you want to talk about what we talked about in the commercial break where you said that actually Florida State should have gotten in over Alabama? <laughs> I did not say any of that, I promise. To all my Alabama buddies, everyone in Alabama, I'm road tied all the way. Um, I, I did not say that. Now, um, do I think it's, it's fair? I don't think it's fair, um, but do I think it's right? That too. I don't know. Uh, it's one of those deals where you got to leave it up to the committee's decision um, and allow them to make that decision. But Eli, I had um, there, there's I, I've heard a, a couple stories about um, like as the time would go down, like you'd use cadence. Um, guys would 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 bring up a story of you using cadence and. Um, you would use cadence so much, and I don't know if it was like at three seconds, you wouldn't snap the ball until like the clock hit three seconds or whatnot. But there was like a tell on. I I don't know. It, it was it was just a it was a tell, I guess, on on you. I've heard the story. Do I know if it's right or wrong? I don't know if it's right or wrong, but that was just a story. So I like the it could be used for seconds. you to that either was... kill that, that to kill right. that I story that... or not. I don't know. Try to, try to use as, all the cadence as possible. Get as much information. Wait till three seconds. A after that point, hey, it's time to snap it. Let's go play ball. Nice little drive <laughs> we got going here. Brown and getting into nice. a little rhythm here. Ooh. Hey, hey, Jacksonville does not need Cisco to get hurt. I mean, he is kind of, I think, the sort of the quarterback of their defense, too. He does a good job in his kind of disguises post snap. I think that's kind of a big part of the game plan. Uh, to try to confuse a young quarterback in Jake Browning. I mean, mm -hmm. Tua, just talk a little bit more about, you know, kind of making some of your first starts. You know, what is Jake Browning kind of feeling right now, making his second NFL start? Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it feels in a way um, like you need to do something right now for the organization um, to prove yourself that you belong in the league. Um, I would say – also because of the, the 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 standard that Joe has set you know for for the the team and where the team can go um, so I, I'm sure he he's you know doing his best to uh, stay a little extra you know in in uh, getting to understand the playbook you know maybe he's he's getting extra work with Joe as well um, in the film room um, but I, I do know that he's he's trying to do everything he possibly can to to help his team win. It's a good point. He's got a good drive here to get him in the red zone, Eli. Oh, a little yeah, play action, a little post. Ooh. Nice. Oh. Oh. All right. All right, Tua. I know nice. this has been – you never came to the passing academy, but you do have a chance to get on the perfect prediction panel right here. And that means <laughs> how do you think – how do you think the Bengals are going to, uh, you know, kind of fare in this drive? Are they going to score a touchdown through pass, run, field goal, get a stop? What do you think? You mm. have to do it. You have to do it before they snap the ball. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. 
You can go by play. I, I think. I don't think it'll be on this play, but I think <laughs> it'll be a. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a run for a touchdown. That counts. That counts. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Look at this celebration. Oh, oh, oh! Wait to ask Chad Ochocinco about that. Wow. I like these guys. No, stop. I'm in. Stop. I'm, in a, I'm in on it. No, I, I talked to him. I talked to him this week, and I got him on the on the celebration. I mean, that, that was perfect clock management by Tua right there. You talk about using the cadence. He just sort of waited for his prediction <laughs> as we were handing it off, kind of covered his bases. Brilliant quarterback play. That's why he's an MVP candidate and playing such great football right now. I love it. Man, you guys are too nice. You guys put me on the, the perfect prediction. <laughs> hey, yeah, you got to get up there. It's one of your greater honors, trust me. <laughs> Tua, stay, gosh, stay with us. Try not to watch Eli dancing here in a minute. No, no, no. Let's not replay that. Let's, let's please, please, no. <laughs> please. Tua. I mean, you've been in a lot of production meetings where you meet with the broadcasters. This is what I deal with with Eli, right? I called Trevor on Saturday night. I said, Eli, <laughs> what should I ask him? These are the deep journalism questions that Eli says. What kind of conditioner does he use? Does he shampoo every day or every other? Oh, by the way, find out if he likes Ridley best on the outside or around in the slot, right? I mean, seriously. Well, did you get any answers? What is he, what well, is he doing? Yeah, he likes Ridley all over the place. Tua, we have y'all's game next week. Be ready for these type of deep questions coming your way when me or Eli call you. <laughs> I mean, Tua, I'd like to go. I'll be ready. Knocks. A lot about your hair. A lot about your hair and hot, hard knocks this past week and what was going on, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, My, I, I feel like at this point my hair has a mind of its own. <laughs> it just does what it does. <laughs> Tua, um, you, of course, play for Nick Saban. Now you play for Mike McDaniel. I just want to ask how they are different, but this broadcast is only three hours long, so instead I'm going to ask, how are Nick Saban and Mike McDaniel similar? <laughs> is there anything? Um, yeah, uh, they're head coaches for, for, for our team. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. That's, that's a similarity. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. That counts. Go ahead. Was, uh, speaking of Mike McDaniels, I saw this uh, mic'd up moment from you two on the sideline last season. Uh, I hope we can play it when we get a chance. But uh, here it is right here. I was thinking about when you randomly hit me up that you're YouTubing me. Yeah. And so then I YouTubed you and heard and saw this Trent Dilfer thing <laughs> showing all this high school from you. Right. And bro, your, your technique was trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? So your coach said that your, quote, your technique was trash. What is it like to have such a supportive head coach? Yeah. Um, I mean, him telling me that my technique was trash, it probably was at the time <laughs> when I was coming out of high school. But in all honesty, he, he, um, he I, I think I, I would uh, – you know, go on here and say that he he's helped a uh, resurgence in my career in the NFL, um, you know, playing the position with the style of the offense that he brings and then um, also sort of meshing it up with what I do really well. Um, so, you know, I, I really appreciate, um, you know, his trust and belief in me and then also the organization's trust and belief in me um, as well as the guys around me. It's showing on the field. Hey, Tua, I talked to Trevor. You know, the Bengals blitz a lot. He says, like, on every single play, they kind of have to have an answer if the Bengals bring all eight guys, right? As a quarterback, you know, in y'all's system, I mean, I, I got to believe you feel like you have answers in y'all's system that if they blitz you, you can throw hot, right? You can check to a run. You can throw a quick screen to Tyreek. I like systems that have answers, and y'all certainly have that down in Miami. Yeah, um, and – regardless of what that that may look like um is you know whether it's throwing on time um finding a, a hot throw or checking into a protection um, a little bubble screen see, that was, right that there. was a yeah. bubble yeah perfect 
um, something like that. And if you don't have an answer, it's it's like Tropic Thunder, the movie. Survive. <laughs> Tua, Tua needs to be a host on this show. He's got movie references. Yeah. Uh, he is speaking my language. <laughs> I think we got to break out the guitar, Tua. Where's that? What? What? what I mean, what are you? Are those for a show, or you can you play those bad boys? Let's go. What yeah, can I can play, play them. Us? I can. I can play them a little. Um, let's let's go. I don't know what I can play for you guys. Um, Peyton, Rocky Top. Peyton loves Elvis. Um, and, and Rocky Top. Boy, Rocky Top. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I Wait, like Peyton didn't like that. that. All right. Um, I know, I, yeah, I Peyton like didn't that. like I that. Like that. I, I, respe- I respect yeah. that. I respect that. Florida State doesn't Alabama. like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Florida State does not like that. Oh, man. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I could play maybe uh, Tears in Heaven, Eric Clapton. Let's go. Oh. Let's see it. Let's hear it. Wow. And the jump off sides. The bingo jumped off sides. <laughs> really good. It's hard to understand. No, I got this. I got this. Please, no. No one wants to hear you sing. <laughs> Keep going, Tua. Keep going. You're perfect. Great job of using the cadence. Working your cadence, singing. You give me the third one, I will get the first down. I love it. I love it. (laughs) You guys are, you guys are hilarious. Oh my god. Oh, you don't sing <laughs> also? You just play? Beautiful. I thought you were singing it. I, I thought you were busting oh, it out. Oh, you thought I was singing it? Oh, I, I, that's why That's why we had Peyton. Peyton was jamming. Oh, yeah. We were you. waiting for well, for. We were waiting for the second verse with Eli. Yes. I Eli's got nothing. He's got nothing. He froze. <laughs> froze. froze. I had to. To it. To it. We were talking about you know declaring mics, you know, and new mic and being in control. You know, the quarterback can make the mic. The center can make the mic. It's not normal for the middle linebacker, it, 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 for example, Ray Lewis telling Eli who the mic should be. That is it not happened normal. one time to it. To it. Well, it happened it one was- time where Ray Lewis said, "No, he wasn't the mic. Someone else was the mic." And I listened to him, and he was wrong. And so I never yeah. listened to him again. <laughs> The, one time. I mean, that, yeah, but I, mean, I, I think that's that's pretty intimidating. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. Yes. Of course, you have to listen to Ray, right? Okay, sure, Mr. Lewis. Who do you <laughs> want to be the mic? But like, yeah. Like Jake Browning is doing a good job. I mean, Trevor's doing a good job. You know, all you young quarterbacks. At least y'all are in control out there. Don't let the middle linebacker tell you how to set the protection. Eli, Jacksonville's running the ball well. I think they do a good job like the Dolphins. Their run game kind of mirrors their play action, right? They have all their runs. They have play actions off of that. Tua, that's a big part of the all's game. It, it really puts the defense in a tough situation. Definitely puts the defense yeah, no in a doubt. tough situation. Um, you got to see what you want to do. a little do. motion <laughs> also. Not as, not as much motion as, as Miami and what y'all do. Uh, to it feels like every play y'all have the jet sweeps the motions the fake motions but with that you come to play actions the run game and everything with it so Ooh. you like all those motions wow. to help you kind of like see that. what the defense is doing yeah and do you like that back shoulder throw as yeah. well like coming on both throw. of those yeah oh that back shoulder was awesome that was beautiful um and then to eli's uh question yeah it it definitely helps um, but then sometimes it can also hurt uh, with some of the fast motions that we have with trying to see what the defense is doing. And then you send a quick motion and you snap it and it's a totally different look. Um, so, you know, ha- having to get reps at that during practice um, of, of the different zero. looks you could potentially get off those. Quick uh, yep. is the- Cover zero. Oh my gosh. That's the old Aaron Rodgers Packers play. Two outside guys block. Ingram runs a little quick stick route. 
It's one of those cover zero answers that Trevor talked about. Had the perfect play called at the right time. Trevor likes empty. You can see who's blitzing. You can see who's coming. Receivers, that was, two guys was blocking three on guys the outside. There, yeah, great blocking on the outside. Nice play by wow. Evan Ingram. I felt like Tua was, was going to say that he liked the quick uh, screen to Ingram right as Ingram was crossing the end zone. I, I was I'm waiting for that last-minute <laughs> prediction. We don't have two pictures you of him. You were reading my mind. The board. Yes, exactly. You read my Y'all mind. Y'all on the same page from the, from the singing and the guitar to the lyrics. Y'all are just feeling it. <laughs> hey, Tua. Tua. Thanks so much for coming on, we'll man. see you next week. See you next week, man. Thank you guys Good for luck. having me. Good luck. I appreciate Rest it. Thank oh, you. Man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, pal. Appreciate it.